because having worked at NBC, I understand uh, people saying it's a toxic place to work. I do, trust me. However, what? Uh, it's rare to see somebody like Jimmy Fallon, who's supposed to be everybody's favorite late night guy, though not according to the ratings, come under this kind of scrutiny and the controversy is getting bad. Now I will tell you, he's not the worst. The Daily Show has the worst rating. That's true. <laughs> They only have 366,000 people watching that show. During the Jon Stewart years, it was over 2 million. Now it's down to 300,000. Seth Meyers, absolutely dreadful. He's got, he doesn't even have a million, 778,000. I mean, for network television, this is, you know, you don't have to pay for it. It's there when you turn on your TV, you plug it in. Uh, that's a dreadful number. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Greg Gutfeld on cable, which you do have to pay for, it has more than double the numbers of Seth Meyers. Jimmy Kimmel, 1.5 million averaging. Also, he- Hip hop? Hip hop anonymous? Yeah. 